The students should touch upon many good books. There are, right? But one book could be not sufficient. There are multiple books, right? For example, if I say political theory, right? So in political theory, there is a one book by Rajiv Bhargava and Sukacharya, right? Uh, published by Pearson. It is a good book, right? But if you look at the language of this book, it is a thick, right? And therefore, in order to understand the basic concepts like power or liberty or rights or democracy, you know, one needs, you know, their mentor, their guide. So that the guide can solve the issue and then the student later on focus on it. Now, if you look at the Western political thought, now there is a, you know, not a single book, right? You can, one can go through, you know, the... O.P. Gava or Brian Nelson or, you know, Bhattacharya and Mukherjee book, Western Political Thought. Even if you look at, not all the topics from, uh, all the topics of the book is important for uh, students, right? Only selected books, selected pace, sometimes selected paragraphs are needed to read in order to, you know, understand the or cover the UPC syllabus. So first one should begin with the syllabus, look the topic, and that topic, you know, for each topic, there are particular many books, right? If someone wants to consult, you know, we have given, you know, at Plutus IS, we have prepared a book of the PSIR. Basically, it is a notes for UPSC to help them to get success, success very easily and, you know, very soon, right? In a very short span of time, they can cover it, right? For example, if I come to the, you know, um, political ideology, that is a no good book, right? You, one can consult few topics from Andrew Hill, right? Uh, ideology, he wrote and he has written a good book, right? So only few chapters from can be written from the Andrew Hill book. Uh, as for as come to the, you know, uh, freedom struggle, there is no single book, you know, one can go through Bipin Chandra or, you know, Shikhar Bandhupadhyay, but only, yes, selected topic. Now, if you go to the government, right, uh, you know, for example, the, you know, the concept of parliament or the president, one should go through the rethinking public institution in, uh, public institution in India by Pradab Badu Mehta, Devesh Kapoor and Milan Bashnav, right? Only few chapters, not the all book, right? So, students has to struggle a lot, right, in order to, to get, you know, you know, to write materials at one, 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 you know, one at one step, stop, right? So, we, what we have done, actually we have made up notes, right? And we have selected, you know, from the many books, right? According to the UPC syllabus, right? That covers the syllabus. So, if one can touch, if you can, one can read first time th those books, that would be good. Otherwise, one can consult, you know, the, as I told you that rethinking public institution in India for president or the Supreme Court, you know, one can go through you know, Andrew Hewitt for political ideas like liberalism, like, you know, feminism or socialism. One can read you know, Andrew Hewitt political theory, few concepts like equality or democracy, right? Baraji Bhargava for the concepts like state and secularism, Right? So there are not a single book. That's a difficult question that you have posed. And then you, you, you should see the answers, right? The answer is not a straight. It is a little complex, yeah. But yes, we have done, you know, prepared the notes that would help students in order to prepare, uh, you know, PSIR optional. Yeah, sir. So third question is that there are many complex topics in PSIR. Like how to approach them? Yes, uh, it applies to all optional paper. The, every optional paper has some some good good uh, you know a very easy, very dynamic, very very interesting, right? But few parts are you know uh, not attractive. Little little bit you have to mug it up or you know just try to you know understand uh, you know and you have you'll face one face difficulties in those areas, and it applies to all optional papers, right? It is applicable to PSI as well, right? Few parts of in like political theory, you know, students face difficulties. But if you look at the international relations, right, or the Indian government and politics, right, or the economy, 
right? The economic uh, plan and development. These all are very interesting and very dynamic, right? And if you see, you know, of many thinkers like uh, Socrates or Plato or Aristotle or even Karl Marx, right? Karl Marx, you know, uh, or J.S. Mill introduces you new idea. You know, it gives you many answers to the many perennial questions which still we ask. Right? For example, why do we obey the government? Right? Or what are the our freedom? Or what are for limitation to the freedom that are answered by those thinkers? Right? So yes, uh, you know, there are few parts which is uh, not difficult at all, of course. It is comparatively, yeah, it is comparatively, comparatively difficult. But other parts are very good, you know, very interesting. Look at the entire, GSP, uh, you know, the paper two or the paper one uh, part section B, right? Or paper one section uh, A, right? Many parts are very enlightened, very good, very interesting. And it helps the students in transforming their personality and self-development, right? So that applies to every, uh, you know, optional, including PSIR. Mm -hmm.